Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Light Platinum. In the last episode, we caught Giratina in the Distortion World with one Ultra Ball. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Drake Breath City Gym and hopefully getting our 8th badge. So, we already know that it's a Dragon-type Gym. I think all my Pokemon are healed up perfectly. It's mainly going to be an Elegance-dominated dominated Gym. But I am going to use Godzilla a little bit at the start just to get it to level 55 so it can evolve. And then everything should go pretty damn sweetly, so let's head inside. Alright, so it looks like the gym has a very similar layout to the uh, previous, uh, previous gym, to the Black Torn City gym. So yeah, we're just going to start by taking on this trainer here. This is the hardest gym in Zeri. Are you prepared? I think I'm pretty well stocked up. Yeah, I think I should be able to do pretty good. So here we have the first trainer. It is cool trainer Tiago with a Dragonair that is on level 42. I'm hoping this thing doesn't have Surf. We're going to go for a Rock Slide and see how much damage we can do with that. And then I'll probably follow up with a Crunch just to see if it does any better. Well, that did over half and we get Flinch, so I'm not going to bother going for Crunch. We're just going to hit this thing with Rock Slide again and more than likely take it out. So down goes Dragonair. And we don't get a lot of experience considering it's a Dragonair. Next Pokemon is Shellgon. So I think it's going to be uh, pretty strong defensively. We're going to go for a Crunch and see how much damage that'll do. It is a special type attack. And it does just less than half, but we get the special defense drop, which means we should be able to take it out with the next move. And Slam does pathetic damage overall, so another Crunch should hopefully take this thing out. And it does, so that's the end of Shellgon, and awesome, so that was a pretty easy battle, considering it was two Dragon Pokemon. Our leader Wesley won't even give you a chance in combat, wow, okay. Alright then, Wesley, he's making we Wesley sounds like a bit of a badass, but I think we're going to be able to beat him anyway. You want to challenge the Dragon Apprentice? Sure, why not? I don't see why not. I did beat that other guy pretty easily. So here we have a uh, cool trainer Tamirez with a guard, a uh, Gabite. I was about to say guard jump. A Gabite on level 43. We're gonna go for Crunch and see how much damage that does. And it does over half. So another one will take it out. We can take a Sand Tomb because it's not the best ground type attack. And it gets a critical hit, and that's how much it did. So it didn't do a lot of damage. And we're gonna get damaged every turn, but there's only probably one turn left because she only has one Pokemon and it's probably gonna go down to this crunch so that would be pretty good if it did and it does so not too bad and level 55 so that you guys know what that means it is evolution time for a Godzilla finally it waited so long to try and get it to evolve but the time is finally here the dragon type is the most powerful in the entire Pokemon world well you can't beat it I just did I just defeated your Gabite that's a dragon type what's wrong with you so, what? Godzilla's evolving? <gasps> oh my god! The team is almost finished now. All I need to do is get a Firestone and I can evolve my uh, Arc of Flame into Arcanine and then that will be pretty awesome. The whole team will be completed then. So, now we finally have ourselves a Tyranitar, one of the most awesome Pokemon ever created in design as well as in power. So, let's just take a look at this thing. It's got a massive amount of HP, 182 HP, with 142 attack, 147 defense, 120 special attack, 132 special defense, and an 86 speed. So it is pretty laggy in speed, but it more than likely makes up for it with its absolute power. So now that that's evolved, I'm actually going to switch Elegance to the front and let Elegance take the rest of the gym. The bag is full, so i got to throw something away. I probably have something I can toss. Uh, I don't really need these two Thunderstones, so I'm going to throw them away. Hopefully I won't need them in the future. I'm also going to throw away the Spell Tag. And I'm just going to litter even more in the gym by throwing away the Water Stone. So yeah, and the Dragon Fang, because who needs those? So now I'm going to take the Lucky Egg and just pass it on to my uh, my Lotic. And I can pretty much probably take the rest of the gym this way, so not too bad. So there we go, Lucky Egg passed on. Just got to flip the switch. And we can move on to the next route of the gym, which is this way, and it's still vibrating, which is weird. And I might as well take on both of these trainers right now instead of like going against that guy later. So we'll take this guy first, and then we'll take the other guy. So here we have cool trainer Fabian with a Shalgon on level 41. I'm expecting one Ice Beam to take this out. I hope my expectations aren't too high, but I think I should be able to take it out with one hit. So Ice Beam hits, and it does take it out, so that's awesome. Can't complain, the gym's going pretty sweetly considering it's a Dragon type gym. Next Pokemon is Dragonair. And I should be able to take that with an Ice Beam as well, so not too shabby. 
it is a whole 10 levels behind, so yeah, Ice Beam takes it out. And we are pretty much walking through this gym. This is meant to be the 8th gym, but we're treating it as if it's like the easiest gym in the game. Or even the first gym, so that's pretty, that's good. It's very good to see that we were able to do that. So, you now understand the power of the dragon. Uh, yeah, I understand how weak it is, because I've been walking through here with like one or two shouting Pokemon. So, Patrick has a Fracture on level 43, that is the evolved form of Axew. And it has Intimidate, which doesn't even matter, because I'm using Ice Beam, which is a special type move. So, we'll just hit it with that. And yeah, that's pretty much the Fracture taken out, so not too bad. I can't complain about anything that's happening in this gym, everything is going so smoothly that uh, I think we'll probably get it done in record time. So, let's just head over here and press this switch. And now we changed the dragon path, so we have to go down this way. And take on this final trainer, and then flip the switch. And then we're pretty much set to take on Wesley. I don't even need to heal up, all I need to do is... If I have, if I may have to heal up unless I don't have an elixir, because if I don't have, or an ether, if I have one of those, I can just use that on Ice Beam. And even then, I still have seven Ice Beams left, so unless the gym leader has a whole team of dragon types, then I should be pretty good. So down goes that Gavite. And nearly level 53, next Pokemon is Flygon, another ground and flying type, which means it is going to get taken out by one Ice Beam. And that should pretty much be it for this trainer as well, so yeah, not bad. Not bad at all, I'm very happy with how this gym is going. So, level 53, and we have a lot of HP, wow, I never realized how much HP Elegance has, nearly has 200 HP, which is a lot. So, there we go. I flip the switch, and the final path is open, now I just need to check if I have any ethers or anything, I have an ether, so yeah, we're not going to go heal up. We're just going to use an Ether and Ice Beam, and that's pretty much all we need to do. I might just use one of my many Hyper Potions on Godzilla just to get it back to full HP. So we're ready to take on stuff with that. And yeah, let's just head up to Wesley, who's all the way up here. And he's a Dragonite. Drag, 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 drag. I guess it wants a cigarette. It wants to have a drag. It's like addicted to nicotine. <laughs> Welcome to the Drake Breath Gym. This is the last gym of this area league, so it is the most renowned gym, renowned and difficult of all. Be strong and get ready, for I will defend this gym with all my power, my Pokemon it possesses. Alright, so the final gym in the Zeri region, it is Wesley, the Dragon type user. And he leads off with a Kingdra that's on level 48, or 58, wow, I read that wrong, 58. Now the thing with Kingdra is, Ice Beam is not going to be super effective. I don't want to waste Ice Beams here, so I'm actually going to retreat into Scorpio to take this guy out. And I think that strategy should work pretty well. Scorpio will probably be able to take some hits, take some Hydro Pumps, I hope. And we'll see how much it does. Wow, okay, we can't really take too many Hydro Pumps. Let's just go for Sludge Bomb and hope for Poisoning. And if we poison it, that would be pretty sweet. Alright, so that's Scorpio taken out. That is not good, really, because Scorpio is my strategy. Come in and use some sludge bombs, hopefully get some poisoning, and that would be the end of that. Um, go for Bulbapedia, and I'll probably just like use strength on this thing. Go for Sleep Powder first, and put it to sleep just so it can't like Hydro Pump me, even though it's not very effective on Bulbapedia. So yeah, my strategy with Scorpio kind of went out the window straight away when he took so much damage from the first Hydro Pump, but that's how it goes sometimes. I probably could have Leech Seeded there, and I probably will Leech Seed if it, yeah, strength isn't doing a lot, so I'll Leech Seed and just make sure I'm getting HP back every turn. So we'll use that. And Kingdra woke up and used Hydro Pump, which is not very effective. I'm, I'm sure we can take one of those pretty easily. Yeah, look at that, that's uh, not even 50 HP lost. And we're gonna get some HP back anyway. And I'm thinking Razor Leaf maybe for the same type of attack bonus, and because it's like regular effective because it is a water type as well. And yeah, we're going to finish it off with the Leech Seed damage, so that's pretty sweet. And Kingdra is probably the biggest threat to my team, honestly. Because, uh, it's the only move, it's the only one that's like not, that Ice Beam won't do a lot of damage to. So we take out that. Next Pokemon is Dragonite, so we're going to go into Elegance, who can probably take hits from this thing, because, uh, Elegance is pretty bulky special defensively as well. Because it seems to be able to take special attacks like no problem. 
I mean, in comes 64. Wow, okay, I think I may be under leveled, but how do we still have speed it anyway? We're gonna take this with like two hits if it's. If we hit it, we do hit it. I. Wow, yeah, it's two hit KO. And wing attack is not gonna do a lot. I stand corrected. That did like over 88. Well, in around 80 HP. Uh, probably finish it with Surf. Because it only has like one HP left. Yep, down goes that Dragonite. So 64. Wow, that was really high. I may be under level, and wow, that's a lot of experience. So, next Pokemon is a Flygon. That's gonna go down to one Ice Beam, because it is four times weak to Ice Beam. And Screech is gonna lower my defense. He's probably setting up for something to come in and do lots of damage to me. But Ice Beam should take this level 60 Flygon. Wow, I've like under leveled for all the main battles, but for the trainer battles, I'm like way over. I'm under leveled. Yeah, I think I said that. I'm under leveled for the gym battles and stuff, but for the trainer battles, I'm like super over leveled. Next Pokemon is Garchomp, and is on level 61, and it's going to use Earthquake. I'm fearing the Earthquake, honestly, I don't know how much damage that can do. And we just got Screeched, and it gets Crit, of course. Alright, I have to accept that defeat there. Let's go into Godzilla. Even though I can't take an Earthquake, really, with Godzilla, because it's a super effective move. So Sandstorm is going to get whipped up by Sandstream. And I'm not really sure. I think I might just use a Max Revive on my my low tick, and then follow up with Ice Beams. I'm gonna leave. Well, I'm gonna see if Godzilla can take an Earthquake first. Just use the Max Revive anyway as a sort of yeah, he's sort of sacrificial so I can heal up my my low tick. So Earthquake is probably gonna take me out. All right, I survived. I don't think I'm gonna outspeed this thing though, so it doesn't really matter. I'm probably gonna get taken out next turn. Yep, I'm taken out. So, down goes Godzilla. Now, the gym is finally providing me with some kind of challenge. And it would be the gym leader that does so. So yeah, let's go back into my low tick and hopefully take this thing with one Ice Beam. I'm sure we can probably take one Earthquake. And then that will probably finish off this thing. So, we're going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm. Garchomp isn't because it is a ground and dragon type. But it's mainly because it's a ground type. That's why it's not going to get hit. And Earthquake doesn't take us out. We should take it out with this Ice Beam. And we're pretty much rolling now through the gym. Once again, we've, re we've got our momentum back. And wow, it's 5 1 HP. Are you... <sighs> Alright, I'm going to have to go into something else just to take the hit. Get to take the Earthquake because I can't let Elegance die. Because it's the only thing I can use to take out the rest of the gym leader's Pokemon. So get him, Bulbapedia. Bulbapedia probably you can't even take an Earthquake because it is part poison. Yep, that's down. I'm just going to have to send in Arcaflame as a sacrifice. I'm going to have to leave Barney because Barney is probably my next strongest Pokemon after my Lotic. So I kind of need to make sure he stays alive. Then we get the Intimidate, which is good. So the next time it uses a Earthquake on my Lotic, or an, an Earthquake because a Earthquake is wrong. An Earthquake on my Lotic. It's not going to do as much, so that's pretty good. So we're probably we're guaranteed to take an earthquake, essentially from this. Wow, he's using Hyper Beam. Why didn't he just use Earthquake on my Arc of Flame? It would have been super effective. And we take a Hyper Beam. Wow, can Arc of Flame actually pull off the impossible and take out the Garchomp? Arc of Flame was sent in just as a pretty much a sacrifice to like get my. Uh, to get my Milotic healed up, and he's taken out the Garchomp. So, way to go, Arcaflame. Level 55 for Elegance, 201 HP. And the final Pokemon is Haxorus, the evolved form of Axew, and it's on level 63. This guy's Pokemon have been really high leveled, but I've somehow managed to ex well, not exploit any, well, I have exploited weaknesses. And it's going to outspeed me, obviously, because it got hit with the uh, Sandstorm first, so that's always a good indication. And it used Dragon Breath, so down goes Arc of Flame. And then we're gonna go into Elegance, and I think we're pretty much done with the gym once I hit this thing with an Ice Beam. So, the Sandstorm Rages, it's probably gonna get hit first, because Haxorus tends to be pretty fast. Yeah, it's gonna go first, so we gotta hope that it doesn't use anything like super effective. If it has anything super effective. And it went for Sword Stance, ooh, that is not. Well, actually, I guess it's okay, because Dragon type moves are special in, in this generation, so it can't really do much to me. And it can't do much to me anyway because it gets taken out with Ice Beam. So there we go. That is the 8th gym badge in this area region. God, we've got all our badges. 
I see a bright future ahead of you. You can surpass anyone. And wow, that's really low money for beating the last gym leader. Well, now that you've defeated me, you can go on to challenge this area elite four. But also, you've won the claw badge. So there we go. That's all the badges got. With the claw badge, you can use HMO7 waterfall outside of battle and climb waterfalls to get to the elite four. Here, another gift. So we got TMO2, which is Dragon Claw, and I'm actually going to teach that to uh, Tyranitar. That TM contains Dragon Claw, a dragon attack that will serve you well in any battle. Alright, so I'm going to teach that to my uh, Tyranitar, as I already said. And yeah, it's the only Pokemon that I can learn anyway. It's the well, I thought Scorpio would be pretty cool with it, but I can't learn it. I guess it doesn't really have claws, it has pincers. So we're going to get rid of Thrash, I never really use Thrash. And the rest of my moves are pretty much pretty effective, so I need to keep those. So yeah, Dragon Claw. Now I need to go heal up, because actually, first we're going to take a look at their trainer card. And there's all the badges that we've gotten in this area region. It's cool that they actually have new sprites as well, that's really awesome. And yeah, that's pretty sweet, we've gotten all the badges. So we're ready to take on the Elite Four. And I honestly, playing the game, I freak, I never thought I'd even get to the Elite Four. It was never really on my mind. I, like, I knew I'd get there, but it's never really been on my mind. And now that it's so close, we're almost there, really. We, all we have to do is go through Victory Road and stuff. So, yeah, that's awesome. Get out of the way. I just got my 8th Gym Badge. Show me some respect here. Come on. Alright, let me just heal up. And there's one thing I want to do before I actually end the episode. And it's just to show you guys how you can get Waterfall, because most of you probably didn't realize that we haven't gotten HMO7 Waterfall yet. And we need Waterfall to actually get to the uh, Pokemon League, or Victory Road at least. So, what you gotta do to get Waterfall is come up here to the department store. And I'm actually gonna switch someone else to the front. We're gonna go for uh, Arc Flame, I guess. So, we'll switch Arc Flame to the front, and as you can see, there's someone standing over here, and it's red. Hi, Stu. I came here to buy some items to prepare for my battle with the Dragon t Gym Leader, Wesley. What? You already have that badge? No way. Ash Ketchum was here, and he told me to give you HMO7 Waterfall. So, we get HMO7, which is Waterfall. Now I have to hurry. I can see I'm falling behind, as you already have eight badges of the Zeri, Greek, of the Zeri League. I have, to go I have to go after them myself. And he just went, I'm pretty sure this is the elevator. The way to the gym is this way out this door but whatever so we got HMO7 waterfall I'm gonna teach that to my low tick and get rid of hy hydro pump I must say hyper beam I'll get rid of hydro pump and then we'll pretty much in the next episode be heading to victory road so we'll just teach that and also you guys I'm just gonna tell you you're gonna need a Pokemon with dive so, I'm not actually going to teach Dive to my Milotic. I'm going to catch another poke. Actually, maybe I will teach it to my Milotic. I don't know. I may just catch another Pokemon because I don't want my Milotic to have three water attacks. Because that sort of gives it weakness, even though it doesn't have any other attacking moves. So, maybe I could teach Dive. It doesn't really matter. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys for Victory Road in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon.